This isn't the first time that something like this has happened and it's definitely not going to be the last one, but it has to be exposed for what it is. Fraud. Hey noble ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and this is going to be a very informal, very short video, a little bit of an extra as I'm producing my uh, next video, which is going to be a review of the Northman. So look forward to that. To get straight to the point and cut a long story short, a couple of days ago, I decided to start an auction on eBay where I am selling this absolute beauty of a helmet, a replica of the Italian Barbute found at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York, dated 1470 to 1480, made by the armorer Pietro de Castello castello in Brescia. The helmet is really nice, you've seen me wear it many times, it's been made by the Pustelak brothers in Poland, it's a high-end item made by a very skilled craftsman. The reason why I'm selling it, it really has to do with the new armor project that I'm working on and I'll tell you more about it towards the end of this video. But for now, what is this uh, fraud that I'm talking about? Well, one of you noble ones, to be specific, Craig, pointed out that just a few hours after I had published this uh, announcement of me selling this helmet, a copycat on eBay decided to download my pictures, my pictures of my helmet and pretend that they are selling it for, of course, a much lower price. I have created three posts about this, one on my Metatron Facebook page, one on my community tab here on YouTube, and then one on the Medieval Market on Facebook, and I believe that this person that decided to steal my pictures and use them to falsely advertise took them from the Medieval Market on Facebook. If you're interested in the helmet, you will find a link in the description box that is a link to the correct eBay that belongs to my wife. Am I really 100% sure that those are my pictures? Absolutely. I mean, it's actually hilarious. This You can see myself in the reflections of the helmet. Mirror polish is a bitch, I guess. But jokes aside, why is this so much of a problem? This is a problem because what's gonna happen now, and this has happened, and I know some of my noble ones telling me that this has happened to them specifically, including Craig, is that now someone who doesn't know will think, wow, look at this helmet, looks amazing and it only costs how much does it want, $100? Wow, that is amazing. For just $100, I can get such an incredible piece. I'm so gonna order it. And then they're gonna get scammed because they're gonna get a helmet that has nothing to do with what you see on pictures. That's false advertisement, that's fraud, that's scam, and this is ripping off people of their hard-worked money. What if it's like an 18-year-old that got like a, I don't know, a birthday present and then, you know, they're gonna buy the helmet because they think that that's what they're getting because this person, now we're gonna look at the uh, announcement together and you will see this person is making all efforts to try and convince people that that's the item that they're gonna get. So someone is gonna think, wow, that's amazing, I want that. And then they pay this person and then they get a very cheap approximation of this helmet made in, I don't know, scrap metal, I guess, whatever lower end variety of mild steel that they're going to use. The shape will be all wrong and they will be getting a different item. I just don't understand how these people can sleep at night how you're okay with yourself ripping off your clients. And you know, I know that some of you might say, well, he probably doesn't care, he doesn't have clients, he's just gonna sell the helmet and then he's gonna remove his page. But no, this is an established event and this is why such a thing is so dangerous. Let's check him out. Okay, so as you can see, this is my announcement, my uh, auction, which is still ongoing. And then as we scroll down, inspired by your recent views, and I'd like to underline sponsored, apparently, we have one of the pictures, he was careful enough to use a different picture as the main, but it's still one of my pictures, and it has the exact same title, Medieval Helmet Barbute based on original at the Met, for $112. Let's check it out. Wow, 10% off, you're even getting a deal here. The first thing is we see that we read seller 100% positive. So someone who doesn't know will think, wow, this, this looks too good to be true, but the person has, you know, 100% positive. What else? Adams Crafts, 1622, 100% positive feedback. Let's see. Let's see more about this guy. He's got a red star. Member since 2018. This guy has been doing it. This guy, this isn't a person who has just opened an account to try and scam one person and disappear. This is a person who does this for a job, has 338 positive reviews and zero negatives. And where is he based? India. So the people are going to see all of the positive reviews and they're going to believe it. And then they're going to get scammed out of their money. 
I'm not okay with that. And as I was saying, this is not the first time that it happens. Have you seen the sheer number of rip-offs of Dr. Tobias Kapo's black English harness that you find on all of these uh, sites? Here is the original. I hope, Dr. Kapo, you don't mind but me showing you your picture, but I know you hate these kind of scammers and you often talk about these, so I'm sure you appreciate this video. And here is the rip-off. I don't know how much Dr. Kapo paid for his high-end, historically accurate replica uh, of this harness, but I'm sure it's in the thousands, probably tens of thousands. And these rip-offs usually are sold for like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. And when you read the comments, people see the original picture of Dr. Capwell's harness, which again is a harness that costs tens of thousands of dollars. They see the price of one thousand dollars and they're like, wow, for one thousand dollars, I wish I was rich. And some people say, oh wow, PM, DM, can you make this for me? because they think they're getting that level of craftsmanship which they're not and that's why it's false adver advertisement that's why it's dangerous that's why it's wrong it's not okay to rip off people of their money making them think that they're gonna get this and instead they're gonna get something like this not anymore not with my pictures so what can we do about this? Well, first of all, I am going to report the, the page for false advertisement if there is a way, uh, because again, this is a scam. I, I would appreciate if you could do something like that too. But another thing that I can say to these people that keep on doing this, they keep on taking pictures of very highly trained, high-end craftsmen's work and place them on their pages to falsely advertise and lure people into buying them. Instead of stealing my picture and using it without permission, how about you contact me and you say, hello sir, I really like the helmet, can you help me improve my craftsmanship? This is the kind of work I have, can you tell me what's wrong with my helmet? Can you tell me what original example this is based on and can you tell me how I can improve so I can start bringing forward a better product to my customers? If this person had contacted me like this, I would have zero problems helping them. Not that I consider myself an expert, but I believe that I can give one or two uh, good pieces of advice and uh, when it comes to form. And most importantly, I can point people towards experts, people such as, again, Dr. Tobias Capwell, people such as Augusto Boer Brandt, all of the other people that really understand armor and its shape. If this person had contacted me and asked me, can I use your pictures? I would have said no, but I would have been more than happy to help them achieve a more believable shape in their helmets. I have heard people tell me this several times, oh, I saw this amazing picture of this great helmet or of this great piece of armor breastplate and I thought, wow, for that price, even I can afford it. And I decided to place the order and then I was scammed and I got something that was not what it was represented and I couldn't return it because they don't accept returns and I was scammed out of my money. That's not right, it's wrong, so I know you're just one of the many that do this, but uh, what's his name? Adam Crafts 1622, please remove those pictures and do not use pictures that don't belong to you of work that you haven't made. I think we've all started with this. When I started my channel, I didn't have much money and I bought some things that were of questionable craftsmanship. It's not that I'm attacking people who don't have much money and are trying to reenact or I've just have some fun LARP on a budget. It's just that people are going to rip off because they're going to think that this craftsman for $112.50 is going to send them a helmet that is high-end custom-made work that looks exactly like the original, minus the liner inside that, as I specified, if you do want to do hardcore reenactment, you might need to have installed by an armorer. But in general, this is a great piece of work. Now to tell you a little bit about the project that I was uh, talking about. So I decided to sell this helmet and I'm going to sell a few more pieces of armor that I'm not going to use because there is one piece of armor, well, actually two, uh, but specifically there is one piece of armor that I absolutely adore, again, at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York that I've seen uh, in person. And I am going to see again this June, because I will be in New York, with my wife. It's this piece of uh, early 16th century armor. It's a field harness and it's an absolute beauty. So I would like to um, 
hire a high-end craftsman to produce this for me. And I've been contacting a few armorers and I'm trying to decide who should make this for me. But as you can imagine, it being early 16th century, this is going to be very expensive. I've recently got married. My wife and I have been planning on perhaps starting to uh, see if we can get a, um, a mortgage for a house. So of course, I've got a lot of expenses and I, I can't really afford this on its own. But one thing I could do is try and sell some of the stuff that I've got, see how much money I can get. And then if there is a way to do like a, a payment plan, uh, maybe I could start working on this. I can't have the whole armor, maybe all at once, but I could start with a the torso, then perhaps add the shoulders, maybe with a little bit of help through my Patreons and whatnot, and then start making videos about it. It's a dream of mine, and I know many of you share uh, this sort of dream uh, since I was a child to have my own well-made suit of plate armor. And this one specifically, it has something. It doesn't even have to be as decorated as it is. I'm, I don't even need to have the twisted edges, to be honest, or all of that uh, etching and, and, and bossing. I would probably have it just in plain uh, mirror polished steel with regular rolled edges, but it's just the shape of it that is so uh, stylish, so classy. And uh, that's why I'm thinking perhaps I if I can afford it, I'll go for that. So of course I will keep you updated on that project once I uh, choose a craftsman. But first I need to sell this helmet, then I'll sell a few more things and then we'll see. Uh, but as soon as I uh, contact the armorer, armorer again and I select the one that is going to do this for me, I will give you an update and perhaps we can do this journey together to share this experience of going to the armorer, getting the measurements. When I will go to uh, New York with my wife, we will go to the Met and I'll uh, film the, the harness so I can show you this, the original from the Middle Ages. And uh, I want to I wanna do this together with you because I know that many of you share this passion of mine and unfortunately it being a very expensive sort of endeavor, um, many of you can't afford it. But perhaps at least by sharing this experience step by step with you uh, in a way you could be I don't know vicariously live your dream together with me and we can make this and enjoy this together so uh, I think that that could be pretty cool to uh, to do this together rather than just doing it for myself I could share it with you and hopefully uh, it will be very nice anyways uh, going back on the on the scammer I hope that this video is going to discourage this sort of dishonest advertising or business strategy if you want to call it and if you find anyone else doing this please send me an email or contact me through my metatron page on facebook and we can go on a freaking crusade to, to, to stop this from, do, from from happening and to be honest if this video all it achieves is to prevent one person and protect the hard-earned money of one of you from being wasted and one of you even just one person from being scammed I'll call it a success. Thank you very much for your continuous support. Stay noble, stay true, and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.